Tea time with Trav. I got my COVID vaccine today. I don't feel weak. I don't feel shortness of breath or anything like that. I will say, however, my arm hurts like hell. It's swollen up. But other than that, I haven't felt anything. What's going on, y'all? It's A.O. Chopping. I'm back, 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 back. Biggity back. I'm back again. Yo, I have... What do I have? This is like a red pepper salmon. Broccoli, of course. Then I have a jerk Jamaican red snapper with some taters. And then I have a chicken and bacon sandwich. You got some tater tots over here. And they come with coleslaw, y'all. And why would they do that? And a cornbread muffin. Y'all already know I got this from Fork in a Row. I love them. And they just have so much stuff on the menu that I still feel like I have not tried everything. So I am going to go back. Just give y'all a heads up. Anyway. Let me make sure my life's on. And we're going to say, Grace, not matter what, start eating. Boop. Father God, I come to you today to ask you to watch over this food. Please let it be a nourishment to my body. Please let me not just this food properly in your name. I pray. Amen. Amen. One more time. Amen. Bada boom, bada bam. Y'all, let me show y'all this. Ooh, ooh. Oh, my God. I never had a jerk. Um, Red Snapper before. Do y'all see that? Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's definitely spicy though. Woo. She said mild, I had her, she said mild. Jesus. I forgot to make them food. I forgot to spice it. Ooh. That seasoning is spicy. They clearly got that seasoning from hell. Jesus. I might dip it in that tartar sauce to, um, whoa, kind of, you know, punk it out for me because I can do the hot stuff. I'm punk. It's so good. How was y'all day going there? Something just fell. I heard it. Oh, mm. a piece of my chicken fell out of my sandwich. I know I'm a chicken. See how good it is. Okay, mm. that's I can still taste the spice from that. Um Snapper thing. I'm a ton. And this probably gonna be hot too. This, I think it said red pepper, if I'm not mistaken. It look like pepper you have. Oh my dick. Oh my god. All of this is good. Y'all, I don't think I've had one bad thing on their menu. I don't, I don't think there's nothing bad on their menu. <laughs> Not all the stuff I taste, you know what I'm about.
I'm about to get into our topic in a second. Now, why do my food keep falling like that? Pick the right up and the I'll show the <laughs> I showed you. Alright. Tea time with Trav. Y'all knew what's coming? Why would it fall like that? Hmm. Okay. So. That's the tea time I'm traveling to put some in my mouth. That, that much more. So, I got my COVID vaccine today. I got the very first um, dose. And, of course, I'll keep y'all updated, let y'all know, you know, how I'm feeling, things like that. Right now, I got it maybe about an hour and a half ago. I don't feel any... I don't feel weak. I don't feel shortness of breath or anything like that. I will say, however, my arm hurts like hell. It really hurts. Um, it's swollen up and it's, I can feel that it's continuing to swell up. But other than that, I haven't felt anything. Of course, yes, it is still early. So. But I told you I'm not speaking no best of into existence in 2021. I'm not going. To, I'm not trying to be in pain or nothing like that. But I just want to. I want to be as transparent with y'all as possible because. Mm, I know some people want it, but they're scared. I know some people don't want it at all. Yeah. So, and that's fine. It, it's everyone's choice. No one is required to get it. I'm not gonna, you know, shame y'all for not getting it. Y'all shouldn't shame me for getting it. So, I was, y'all know I'm team vaccine. So, I was very happy when I got there. I wonder how much, how, I said how much. How does salmon taste with tartar? I was happy to see how many people were in there, y'all. Because I, y'all know I think people in Atlanta don't take COVID serious. We got, oh. They just out like, ain't nothing happening. But I was very happy. Now, what I will say is, I was. I'm dissatisfied with the amount of young people that I saw in there. It was definitely, I want to say, from what I saw, it looked to me mainly people in their 30s and up. I didn't see many young people in there, aside from myself and maybe two other guys that were in line. It was three, it was three other guys that were in line with me because they bring you in in groups but of course everyone does their thing individually and I was just a little a little sad because I would have liked to see more young folks I also would have liked to see more people of color there I'm going to be completely honest I really would have because I don't think 
And these are just my beliefs. Y'all can believe what y'all want. I'm not, you know, forcing you to think anything. I just do not genuinely think that this is something to harm us. I don't. I don't. And even if it is, this was something I was willing to take a risk with because here we are. March has come full circle, y'all. All of this started to really hit the fan publicly in March 2020. We are now in March 2021. This is a year of me being scared to invite people over, me being scared to go to someone's house, go to a kickback, go to a bar, go... I can't keep living in fear. Granted, the, the vaccine is not, you know, it's not like, the vaccine to me is like a condom. Y'all probably like, Trav, what are you talking about? The vaccine is like a condom to me. It's there to prevent you. And it can prevent it. Sometimes it may have its slip-ups and its, you know, flaws. It's not perfect. But it's better than not wearing a condom. You know what I'm saying? Getting the vaccine is better than not getting the vaccine. And that's just my ideology. So, you know, some people choose not to wear condoms. Some people choose not to get the vaccine. Some people choose not to wear masks. That's up to you. But I'm not trying to take the risk of, okay, it's COVID. Not at all. So I feel good. Y'all got it. I feel very good. Especially for someone who once had stomach cancer, y'all. That's why I was even more scared to do stuff. You um, know, I was like, I don't know what that COVID can do to me if it gets to me. There's people who haven't had any health complications at all. And they're gone. So I didn't want to sit around and wait to find out what it was going to do to me. Not at all. And we're not. Me and COVID Lena, we ain't friends. We ain't never going to be friends. We don't need to. I know you exist. That's all I need to know. Oftentimes, I don't take people, uh, you know, they word. I try to find stuff about myself. That one I'm going to find out. Nope. I'm taking my word about Miss COVID. She is a bad lady. And I want to. Don't come near me. But yeah, it was a really swift process. I would say that. Um, everything was completely organized. When you get there, they tell you to wait in your car until they text you, let you know when to come in because they don't want it to get too crowded. So my appointment was at 2.20. By 2.23, I had a text saying come inside. So I go inside, fill out the paperwork. No, you can fill out your consent form prior to coming, but I did it. Um, so I put it out there physically and then they give you a ticket with a number on it. That is your group number. So if they say group number five, everybody that's in group, kind of like when you're boarding a plane, A, C, all that, get up and go, you get in line. Of course, you're still socially distant. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then they walk you from the big main waiting area over to um I, I'm gonna call it the document station because there that's when they check you in give you like a car with your information on there and of course they verify that you who you are etc once you leave there you are now sent to the line to wait to get the official vaccine. So I'm just in line waiting. Um, and I'm, I was like, not necessarily nervous, but it was like nerve scotted. 
Nerve scotted. Mm-hmm. I was nervous and excited. So it was like nerve scotted all together. But I get there, you know, to, uh, again, once I get into the room where I'm getting the shot, I have to verify who I am. They have more than one um, nurse in there. They ask you the same question that everybody else already asked you that you're tired of answering, but of course you're going to answer because you want your shot. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, they make you feel comfortable, honestly. I ask you a few questions, you know, they try to tell you to relax. Da, 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 da. And now, you know, most times when people about to pull out a needle, you don't be like, oh, yeah, I'm excited. Like, no. But she pulled the needle and said, hold up, wait a minute now. <laughs> and she had to get like, my arms don't have much fat on them. So she had to like do, like I had to put it in a certain type of position for her to squeeze to be able to see the fat. Or to get a, a fatty area on her face. And... When she did that, she said, okay, are you ready? I said, yeah. So, I feel her, like, squeeze my arm. And then she said, are you okay? I said, yeah. Two seconds later, she said, are you still okay? I said, yeah, I'm fine. She said, okay, you're done. And she's putting the bandaid on my arm. And I said, oh! Y'all, literally, I'm not even exaggerating. I did not feel that needle go in me. I know it was in me because I saw her pulling it out, but I did not feel it go in me. Like, I felt the initial, but that's it. I did, you know, some, like, when you get, like, IVs and stuff like that, you can feel them juices flowing through your body. I did not feel a thing. Mm, mm, mm. Wouldn't in a way to get them because I'm not gonna lie, I was scared. I had some that was part of my nervousness. I mean I thought my mouth was ignorant. Oh no. Yeah, I didn't I ain't feel nothing. Now, when you um, when you get it, when you leave out the room where you got your your vaccine, they um, escorted you to another holding room. I'm gonna give you a card. They give you two cards. I ain't give you the card with you know your information on there, of course. It's the same when you got the first vaccine, etc. Then they give you a second card. And the second card has a number on it. Now, the number was... Oh, my God. My arm, y'all. That just hurt trying to move that. Uh, and I'll lay on this side, too. Oh, this is going to be bad. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Anyway. This... Oh, I heard it hurt. Like I said, the second card is a number. And that number is a time. Because you have to stay. After you get your vaccine, you have to stay for 15 to 20 minutes after so they can verify that you don't have any reactions to the vaccine. And if you do, then of course they'll properly treat you. So I'll go straight over there. You know, I'm just ready to go. They give you a fact sheet about symptoms after taking the vaccine. Mm. And I was out after 20 minutes. So like I said, I will keep y'all updated on how I'm feeling. If it take a turn for the worse, which it will not, because we are not speaking that into existence, I will be perfectly fine. But 
Isn't that y'all know? My best friend um actually got both doses. Doses. I'm talking with this in my mouth. It probably sound like I said something crazy. I don't. But anyway. And after the first one, he felt like fatigued. And I think that lasted for like a day or two. So, that's what I said. Let me hurry up and film this video, y'all. I'm going to get food right after I left. Because I was like, I need to hurry up and film a video just in case anything goes wrong. So here I am. Well, like I said, y'all know I'm. I will keep y'all posted. Y'all know I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Not on purpose. I'm mm. good. I am about to sign out though because my arm is literally hurting like hell. Um, I can really feel it like continuously swelling up, which is normal, y'all. I don't want nobody to get scared. That is normal. You deserve. <laughs> so. I'm about to lay it down, lay it down. Um, yeah. About to, I was about to say call it night. It's daytime as ever right now. It's 4.47. We're not even officially in the evening. We're in the evening. The pre-evening. The evening eve. <laughs> That's not like Eve Eater Apple. Eve Eater in the house, y'all. Yeah. Okay. Let me sign up. So, y'all already know, if y'all not. Oh, if you haven't checked out the website, go in the description box below, www.amtrap.com. Then you get to A sauce, A and merch, all that. The crew next to is the t shirts. I have more merch coming, I promise I'm working on it. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the bell button right there, boom, hit the bell right there, boom, so you can notify each and every time I drop a video. But if and only if you want to stay connected with AO Travel outside of YouTube, you already know to add me, follow me, let me come. Wait, I can't even think straight right now. What am I talking about? Oh, scroll down to the bottom. Brr, boom, you'll see my social media Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Your boy is on TikTok, y'all. Follow me at AO Travel. Um, yeah, y'all know. Leave me a comment on Instagram, leave me a DM on Instagram, leave me a comment on do whatever. Let me know what's like, what's don't like, what's wanna see, what's don't wanna see, what's 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 wanna I'm going to put this out. Yeah, this is going out right away because of the vaccine. So the other ones have to be put on balls. So yes, when y'all see this video, it'll be three weeks from today. Because the video's coming out the next day. Whatever. Y'all get what I'm trying to say. I'm out, y'all. Bye.